Rosanna Pancino. I made a doll cake of Rosanna Pancino. Today we're gonna make a doll cake, a doll cake of Rosanna, Rosanna Pancino. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today, as you can already see, we are making a doll cake of the one and only Michelle Obama. Nope, but that's a great idea too, so let me write that down. So last year, Rose sent me a huge box of Rosanna Pancino brand items, including this. Can you see it? Hold on. <sighs> including this awesome apron. But the one thing I was extremely excited to get was the doll cake pan. I love the shape. I love how compact it is to store. Very well, much perfect. I was waiting for the perfect day and time to recreate this doll cake. And today was that day. And I'm using a vanilla box cake and I mixed in some red sprinkles. Red is a huge theme in this video and that's primarily because I like the red in this apron. I'm just gonna level off the cakes in the pan and I'm actually gonna cut away all together like an inch more of cake from all three layers just because I wanted this to be a little lower. Then I started to stack. So I put the largest cake at the bottom and you can see I used a little bit of leftover batter from a Funfetti cake because there are some blue sprinkle spots. It's for another cake that's coming your way. I added some buttercream on top and just smoothened it out with my, you guessed it, Rosanna Pancino Offset Spatula. Oh, it's so divine. I wanted to add more color, so I'm adding some red Jimmy sprinkles into the frosting as well. Why do they call it Jimmy sprinkles? I don't know, Jimmy. Why can't we call them Ro sprinkles? Are you talking about Jimmy Buffett? Because you need to tell me. And then I added my next layer of cake another layer of buttercream and just repeated that process with my Rosanna Pensino sprinkles or Jimmy Buffett sprinkles, whatever, whatever you want. Just call it whatever you want. I added the last cake on top and then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. Just making sure that all of the Jimmy Buffett, Rosanna Pensino sprinkles and crumbs stay on this layer of cake. After I finished crumb coating my cake, I placed it into the fridge and started a marathon of nerdy nummies. I watched all of my old favorites like the rainbow with the white and the purple unicorn, Pokemon pizza, and the Indiana Jones monkey brains cake. That was one of the first times I had ever seen anyone cover a cake in fondant. And I was terrified because I was like, what is this? What is she doing? How? How do you shape it? What? I can't do that. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to work with fondant and now look at me. Fondant all day, every day. So I started off with the older videos and then just moved my way to all the more recent ones and I just love that. You see all like the different sets that she used to have? I love that too. You're moving on up. You're doing everybody proud. And I took my cake out of the fridge and I covered it with a huge piece of red fondant. Because this is a doll cake, I'm not flattening it out on the sides. I'm just working the fondant all the way down and then using my hands to create some fabric folds at the bottom. Just using my fingers to create these beautiful folds. Then I took my Barbie. This was the closest one to Rosanna that I could find at Target. The other two were blonde and she's not blonde anymore so I could have used those. I placed my Barbie into the middle of the cake and I decided to cover her waist with a little bit of red fondant. Then I wrapped some red fondant around her bust area to give her her neckline. I decided to panel two pieces of fabric on each side of my doll. I'm just using some fondant tools to add the same kind of texture that's on the bottom of the cake. It adds a little bit more height and also just gives it some more va va boom. I follow her on Instagram, I think everyone does. <laughs> um, she likes wearing tops that are like off the shoulder. So I decided to give her sleeves like that as well. Just wrap two small pieces of fondant around her arms. It's a very small detail, but it makes all the difference. And I love that she sent me this apron. And I decided that I wanted to give my doll cake an apron as well. So at the bottom of my doll cake, I'm adding a large trapezoid of white fondant. I'm just adding it very loosely so I can give it some fabric folds at the bottom. On top of that, I added another white trapezoid of fondant. It's just a tiny bit smaller. I'm overlapping it and adding it loosely again just so I can give it some more fabric folds. 
And then I wrapped a small strap of white fondant around her neck. It's great like these straps. You know the one that you tie? This thing. Then a smaller trapezoid of white fondant on top of that. And finally a rectangle piece of fondant to create the top of the apron. I placed another strap around her waist and tied that to the back. The more I think about this, the weirder it gets because she's wearing a ball gown, but she's also wearing an apron. I don't know any person who's ever been put in a situation where they're baking cookies in a ball gown. <laughs> but if that situation ever occurs, you'll be ready and you'll look stunning. I love the heart detail on this apron, so I decided to give my apron hearts as well. I'm using some heart fondant cutters and just applying little fondant hearts with a little bit of magic sauce. Just three different sizes to give my design a little bit more depth. Once I finished applying my hearts, I added on a Barbie baking cap. And voila, my Rosanna Pansino doll cake was complete. It looks sick, doesn't it? That apron is the most spectacular ball gown apron I've ever seen. Now I'm curious, what is your favorite Rosanna Pansino video? or type of videos. My favorite's when she makes pizzas. I love it when she makes like Pokemon pizza, when she made the Batman, Deadpool pizza. Oh, and that giant cookie though. That giant cookie. Oh gosh, that was a good cookie. Thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. I love it. I'm gonna be using this doll cake pens in a lot more of my doll cake videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.